Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. I know you're wondering, what the heck am I getting into now? This is absolutely fascinating material. So we have a beehive experiment here at Feather French Forever. You'll see the parrots and you'll hear them in the background. And Ron and his brother, Daryl Johnson, are heading this up. And um, their mission is basically to provide climate controlled beehives. And hives inside the building, they need to be 92 degrees. Um, if it gets too hot, they have to cool down. If it gets too cold, they have to heat up. And um, there's a, a phenomenon out there called DERF, D-E-R-F. Temperatures can be so hot outside that flowers start blooming late and the bees have to have pollen. They can go up to five miles to look for it. He said the bees can come back with pollen on their legs and they can study their legs to find out, you know, where, where they're landing, what type of plants. So it's absolutely fascinating. And he said, you know, the bees will eat their own honey. Um, if you're a major bee supplier, you might uh, feed your bees in the wintertime, sugar water or pollen, that type of thing. Uh, males do the stinging. I'm sorry, females do the stinging and males are drones. So the females do the stinging and the queen is big. They said it's, you know, like the size of a cockroach. And um, this is just a fascinating subject for me. Um, and so the bottom line is, this is a bee house and the bees can recognize their home color. Um, if they go in the wrong color, then they could be killed. And they started this earlier this year. They're gonna sell jars of honey eventually with the, um, the honeycomb in there. And it is absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to be, you know, one of the first people to try a jar of honey. It's very exciting. So here's the, the front door, if you will. And uh, I don't want to go too close because I am very allergic um, 